what is the postmortem uh, on the 2018 Astros, do you think, Ken? I don't know. And certainly they were a talented group and, in my view, the best team in baseball all year, even though the Red Sox won more games. I thought they had no flaws. If you look at the Red Sox, the bullpen is a flaw. They, in the rotation, were vulnerable because Sale had the physical issues. Price was unreliable in bigger games, and Houston just seemed to have it all. They certainly were banged up toward the end. Altuve was not Altuve because of the knee, and that affected them. Correa had a good playoff, but during the course of the regular season, he struggled with the back. They're going to be back. They do have a number of free agents, and some of them are kind of core players. Keichel, Charlie Morton. Marwin Gonzalez, those are three of the big ones. Brian McCann's another. There's still going to be a powerhouse. It's very difficult to go back-to-back. We know that. It only happens, well, it hasn't happened since the Yankees, the late 90s, 2000s. So I don't have a clear postmortem because I'm still a little bit stunned. They only won one game in this series. But what shocked me was the middle three games of the five-game set, they allowed, I believe it was 7-7-8. Seven, seven, and eight. And this was a team that I thought had just brilliant pitching. Shows the depth of the Red Sox lineup and how devastating it can be. Well, do they have do they have a a, a hit reputationally too, Ken? With what Yahoo Sports would uh, reported uh, with this fellow who who had a credential from the uh, the Astros sh- shooting pictures of opposing dugouts. Ken, is there well, any there that, to this? Is there I, any there there here? Both those things are blemishes. Now, certainly. The part about the employee that you just mentioned. Now, baseball has essentially said this matter is closed and they took care of it. Other teams are not happy with that explanation. They think the Astros go too far, went too far. I don't know where that goes. The sign stealing thing has been an issue for a while now. I remember writing about it last off season, just how baseball is installing new phones so they can monitor them. Teams couldn't communicate from the clubhouse to the dugout, and yet because of the vast amount of electronics available, teams find different ways and do what they do. Now, that was certainly something that if the Astros had won the World Series, people would have wondered, hey, was this okay? And the Asuna thing is another question. There are certain teams that would not have acquired Roberto Asuna after he served 75 games suspension for domestic violence. The Astros did. A lot of people thought that was kind of a cynical act, basically saying we don't care. Whatever the guy has done, doesn't matter to us. He's a great performer. We'll take him. Again, other teams did not make that decision. So they didn't win the World Series. Some of this noise will die down. And I'm not calling it noise in the sense of needless noise. It's very legitimate noise. But going forward, it will be interesting to see kind of how these things progress with the Astros? Do they make that same kind of acquisition the next time? Do they calm down or do they not do what they've done with this um, person who is taking pictures of the dugout and doing heaven's knows, heaven knows what else? Remember, they said they were playing defense, right? Yeah, right. Hey, it's, it's all the other teams are worried about. Yeah, all of them are doing stuff. <laughs> it's just a matter of how much. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.